This is on top with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2023, and in particular the folding and split lines for floors. Here I have Revit 2023 open, and I have a way uh, to act kind of like a sidewalk. And if we take a look at it in plan view, you can see this is what it looks like. If I select it and I hit modify sub elements, you can get to each of the dashed lines for the edges and the nodes and specify whatever value you need for each of the nodes. Um, here, if you take a look carefully, we can look in plan or 3D and I'll turn thin lines functionality um, so you maybe you can get a better view of it. There's this blue dash line and that is a split line. If I select it, you can now um, use it to push and pull and adjust the height of those. If you have over here, for example, an opening and you made the slab to taper to that hole, these lines are called folding lines. And if I select them, I can adjust the values as well. But I can also click convert the lines to split lines. Once I do that, if I take a look at selecting and, and hitting modify sub elements again, you can see that visually the line is no longer a folding line, which is black. It's a bluish color line that's a split line. And again, you can adjust and pull the edges as well um, to adjust the height. So depending on what you're building and working with, you may need to use folding lines or split lines to adjust your quote unquote floor. And in this case, I'm using it as a sidewalk um, to make it look the way you want it to look. That's it. That's the new update to the software. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, let me know if you have any questions.